What's up, guys? My name is Eli Fishman. Back with another interview today. I'm with Mitch Spence, pitcher for the Hudson Valley Renegades. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. Another great outing last night um, for the Renegades, and you've got an ERA close to two on the season. An absolute, an absolute breakout season. What's what's been the biggest key to your success so far? Um, the biggest thing is just you know staying locked in, trying to control the things I can control, and just you know pitching my game, not trying to be too big. Um, yeah, that's what really been what's, what's uh, made me successful. Was there any big adjustments you've made, um, not just this season, but in, in no season last year, um, that you think has helped you out? I think the biggest thing is just the early in the year. Um, it, it was kind of hard to like stay locked in, you know, for for multiple innings. You know, it's it's been a while since we played a competitive game. Um, so early on, it just felt like you know I I get through two quick innings and I kind of lose focus, and then next thing I knew was I've given up you know two spot, three spot, four spot, and. Uh, so I think just you know from the mental side of the game, I've, able, I've been able to focus um, deep into deeper into the games. How do you make a mental adjustment like that? Is it's it just, just reps? Uh, yeah, just making sure I'm like consciously thinking about it, like, hey, just you know, stay focused, you know, keep pitching your game. And one of the things I do is when I'm out on the mound, just keep you know a little bit of self talk, just keep reminding myself, hey, you know, get the first pitch strike right here, just you know, stay locked in and don't lose focus. Talking about the repertoire, you know, last night I saw a lot of the fastball curveball mix. Um, you know, get, run through the pitches and, you know, how you necessarily attack hitters. Yeah, so the biggest thing for me is just, um, you know, getting ahead, you know, throwing strikes. That's my, that's my, I feel like that's my, my biggest thing that I'm, I'm, I'm good at. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the biggest thing is like fastball slider, uh, mixing the curveball, and I've been working on a changeup uh, for lefties that I feel like has become a, a good weapon for me. Um, but, yeah, mainly just, you know, fastball, curveball, slider. What's your approach? You know, you step on the bump, guy steps in the box, and the energy starts starts rushing. What's going through your head? Just, you know, just get ahead. You know, the statistics show that, you know, you get strike one and you're already in the driver's seat. So just, you know, trying try to stay ahead and throw strikes. And, you know, once you're ahead, it <clears throat> makes it a little bit easier. What's your out pitch? You know, what would you say my is your best pitch? pitch? Um, I'd say my fastball is my best best pitch. You know, I got, I, throw, I have a little bit of a natural cutter. So, you know, that runs away from righties, runs in on lefties. So I feel like, yeah, that's kind of my go-to pitch. Going back to 2019 and the pro debut in Pulaski, what did you necessarily take away um, from your first professional season? Were there any big surprises? Uh, just the biggest thing was that, you know, hey, I, I belong here. You know, I've, I've gotten this far. Just keep trying to get better every single day. And, you know, one of the biggest things I learned is that just, like I said, just, you know, getting ahead and throwing strikes, you know, really puts you in, in a good spot to be successful and just, you know, building off of that and, you know, just trying to, get, like I said, get better every day. You, you know, you were talking about regaining focus after a couple of innings, and you've been a reliever for a lot of your career. So has, how has that adjustment gone in terms of, you know, being a reliever, now being a starter, and having to focus and have your A game for, uh, you know, as long as you have to as a starter? Yeah, well, I think luckily, I, you know, I was a starter in college. So, you know, I have a little bit of it's, – it's not the same, but I have a little yeah. bit of experience, you know, going deeper into games. So I think the biggest adjustment I had to make um, from, you know, relieving in Pulaski to, to starting here is just making sure I don't – you know, blow it all out in the first two innings or, you know, just go as hard as I can for the first thing. You got to save a little bit in the tank for the, you know, the fourth, fifth and sixth inning. How about the grind? You know, the bus trips aren't too bad this year and you guys yeah. have a six yeah, day they're, series. They're not bad. Luckily with the COVID regulations, you know, we have like we, we, we took three buses for a little while. So there's like eight guys on a bus. So everybody's, you know, spread out all across the bus. Um, luckily travel hasn't been too bad, but like, you know, I mean, we're getting to those dog days of August, but, you know, luckily I, I think I'm very fortunate. I, I mean, I love showing up every day and I, there's nothing else I'd rather do. What's the biggest lesson that you've taken away from your experiences as, as a professional athlete? You know, just, you know, a lot of stuff's out of your control. Just, you know, control what you can control, and, you know, that's, that, that's about all you can do. All right, man. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really, really appreciate it, and best of luck. Hey, thanks so much.